drum programming. One of the things that separates the good from the great in music production. It's the ultimate test of a producer's skill. But once you master it, your tracks will be unstoppable. Sit tight and have your favorite drum samples ready, because after this video you'll have the tools to program better and more realistic drums. When it comes to professional drone programming, there's one word that stands out above the rest, and that is variation. So by learning the art of variation, you learn the art of programming realistic sounding drums. And I'm not just talking about simple rhythm variation here. What I mean is variation in the sound. Let me explain. If you want to create truly realistic and dynamic sounding drums, there's no better way than studying real life drummers. Take for example a simple hi-hat pattern. Each hit is a unique physical action of the drumstick striking the cymbal. There are so many variables that affect the sound here. The ones that come to mind right now are for example the point of impact on the cymbal, the force behind the hit, and the angle of the drumstick. The same principle can be applied to all drum sounds, not just to a hi-hat. I would say our worst enemy when programming drums are two sounds sounding exactly the same. But why, you may be asking yourself. Because the simple fact that this doesn't exist in real life. To demonstrate this, I'm going to clap two times. Now listen to the difference when I take the first clap and cut it and paste it two times. Can you tell the difference? Let me know in the comments below if you heard a difference and how you would describe it. For me, it doesn't sound real. It sounds like a machine and I can instantly tell that it's exactly the same sound repeated two times. Well, guess what? The same happens when you use drum samples in your music. Mind blowing. Of course, there are times where you want to have a very robotic and mechanical sound in drums in your production. And that's totally fine but it should be an aesthetic choice. But when you want your drums to sound more realistic, there are a couple of things you can do to achieve this. So the question is, how do we do it? How can we simulate those little differences in the sound we find in real performances? Well, first, we have to understand the way most samplers work. When you load a drum sample into your sampler and create a drum sequence, if we don't change anything, it will play back exactly the same sound each time it's triggered. Which is exactly what we want to avoid, right? Our goal is to find a way to making each drum hit sounds a little different. So what I want you to do is to remember these three magic words. Pitch, envelope and velocity. Now we're going to use these three parameters, remember, pitch, envelope and velocity, to create something that I call percussion melody. But what do I mean with percussion melody? I'm gonna play two different hi-hat sequences. The first one is just plain without any variations in sound. As you can hear, it's exactly the same sound repeated, so it doesn't have much musicality or groove. To me, it sounds like a machine. Now, have a listen to this one. Do you see what I'm talking about? Now you can feel the musicality of this pattern. It sounds alive, and I'm actually playing exactly the same pattern. But now you can hear the sound sing. That's percussion melody. Do you wanna know how to do it? If the answer is yes, and if you're finding this video useful, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this one. It's free for you and it helps me a lot getting this channel started. And please don't forget to activate all the notifications. With that out of the way, let me show you here in the project how to do it. All right, so I have a hi-hat loaded here into my first slot. And I'm going to program 16 hi-hat hits so that at the end we have something like this which is actually the same pattern I showed you a couple of minutes ago. Now, as you can tell, we have the same mechanic sound. Now, how can we improve this? Well, the first thing that I'm going to show you is that we can play with the sound by just adjusting the envelope that I mentioned before. And so if I go here to plugin, you can see here I have the amplitude envelope. And what we can do over here is the following. 
I'm going back to pad mode and now I have the sound. So if I change here the decay parameter, now we see that the hi-hat length is bigger. And of course we can play with this parameter just to add a little bit of variation to the sound. Let's go back to the sequence that I had before. I'm going to play it and then I'm going to play with that parameter. All right, so what happens if we record a little bit of automation? We start having kind of a musicality in the rhythm of the sequence. Now let's play a little bit with the attack knob here and see what happens. As you can see, we have less of the click at the start of the hi-hat. And of course, we can also automate this parameter. Let's see how it sounds. And here it comes one of my favorite tricks. You can see here the tune, which is the pitch I mentioned before. So we can, of course, also automate the pitch. Let's see how it sounds. As you can see, now we have a little bit of variation also in the pitch. That makes everything more alive compared to what we had at the beginning of the session. Now we have even one more parameter that we can change that I told you before, and I'm talking about the velocity. The velocity simulates the strength of the drum hit, and if we play with it, we can make different accents and change the feel of the music. These lines represent the velocity of the sound, and as you can see, everyone has the same value, which is 100. So now what I'm gonna do is just start to play a little bit with the velocities. And I'm going to do this at the same time that the patterns play. Let's add a kick and a snare and see how everything comes together. Let's add four kicks. And now let's add two snares. Woo! Let's compare the whole pattern with the first hi-hat that we had without all the automations. Here we have the first one. And now the second one. Back and forth. Very mechanic. And now with a little bit of groove. Please be aware that this is kind of a simplified version and you can make it as complicated as you wish. And that's how you do it. You can experiment with pitch, velocity and envelope to create little variations in the sound and program better and much more realistic drum patterns. If you are interested in learning how you can improve your mixing before you even begin to mix, here's a video for you. To subscribe to the channel, hit the circle above. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.